What's up guys, this is GameWiz101 here bringing you another Wiz101 video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get essentially free Mega Snacks approximately every four days. You are going to need some crowns to start off, but trust me, it'll pay back in a great amount in the future. So, um, well, you could, you could farm for these uh, snacks that I'm about to show you, but... Um, they're kind of rare to get, and honestly, I wasn't about to farm for that many snacks. So, yeah, I just bought them. But uh, you're more than welcome to farm for them. So, if I can... Okay, there. So, Evil Magma Peas. Those are the bomb. Those are what you want to go for. You're probably not going to want to farm for these. If you're going to farm for something, farm for the couch potatoes. If you want, I can show you a video on where to farm for those, or you can just look it up, honestly. Anyways, Evil Magma Peas, buy like six of them or something, at the very most, probably. Unless, you know, you have a lot of money, which, if you have a lot of money, I don't understand why you're watching this video, how to get Mega Snacks for free. But anyways, um, if you want, you can buy like 64 of them and make a 64 plot, plot which is what I have. But I did not get that overnight. I bought like 10 of them and then I, uh, through the double gardening reward events, I slowly worked my way up and now on my account I have well over 500 evil magma peas uh, spread across several different characters, of course. So, without further ado, let's go to my house and see what we can get. Okay, so here's my 64 plot. And uh, currently it's not all full because some of the plots are kind of glitchy and I'm sorry if I'm lagging. Greatly apologize. Yeah, sometimes when I go around the elder plants, it, my computer gets a little bit laggy. But anyways, um, so we're going to harvest these today if I have enough backpack room, which I don't. So I will be right back once I get enough backpack room. Alright guys, so I'm back here, and uh, unfortunately I still don't have enough backpack room, but we're not going to harvest all of them. I just want to show you what uh, you can get, and how easy it is. So let's just harvest one here. Uh, lag. Alright, so we got the Evil Magma Peace Seed, which is normal. We got one Mega Snack, which is a Captain Cantaloupe. You can get the Captain Cantaloupe, the Fancy Yogurt, I forget what the other ones are. The other ones are pretty trash, I'll take a look at my snacks so you can get you can get captain cantaloupe as i said before get the cherry tomatoes you can get the you can get the fancy yogurt which is pretty good especially if you're training for damage and then after that you can get the golden wheat bread which is decent you can get mystic dragon fruit which i don't like uh, pet snacks that give intellect uh, I just find that trait not very useful. So, yeah. So, of course, you're going to get refunded with your seed every time. It will always give you your seed back. So, let's harvest another one. And, obviously, snack. Fancy yogurt. There we go. And, obviously, you get true treasure cards, which, I mean, you could sell in the future for gold. And... I have racked up a ton of reagents using these things. It, they do drop Black Lotus, which I've maxed out. Uh, I must have used some. And then uh, it also drops something else. Uh, let's see here. Nope. No, it drops Sandstone. But I think I used most of it. Sandstone. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, so I have like 800 of that. It drops Scrap Iron have over 900 of that drop spider silk 500 of that uh, drop sunstone I have 300 sunstone and yeah so it, it'll let you rack up your reagents really really quickly especially because at the mature harvest it also gives those yeah this is essentially how you're going to want to do it um, if you guys want I can make a video on how to make this plot and how I uh, manage gardening all these with, you know, my energy and all that. But yeah, I think that's going to conclude this video on how to get Mega Pet Stacks for free. Possibly another upcoming video on how to train your pet to get damage or resist or uh, which talents you want to get out of your pet and how you can maximize your possibility of getting those talents. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.